Hey everybody, for those who don't know me, I am Rebecca with Iron R Acres and I keep about 70 plus hives right now and I try to help a lot of local beekeepers get started with new bees. One of the first ways people tend to get bees is these packaged bees right here. And so today I want to show you how I install the bees into a hive ready to go. Anytime you're working with bees, it's best to get everything together ahead of time. So right now I have with me my Langstroth hive. It is a 10 frame, 8 frame does fine. I have my entrance reducer right here set on the smallest opening. These girls are going to have a lot to do. They shouldn't have to worry about defending their hive too much, so I like it on the smallest opening. Here in South Carolina, it's nice and warm, so I do run a screened bottom board. It also helps me with bugs and hive beetles, so I keep the screen bottom board in. I do have, for when I'm done, a feeder to put on the girls because they're not coming with much resources, so I want to make sure that they're happy and have everything they need. To get started, I do have a number 32 rubber bands here, two of them, on an empty frame, ready for my queen cage. I have two parts sugar to one part water in a spray bottle because these girls, to help slow them down to give them something to do, I'm going to spray some sugar water on them and get them started here. So I'm starting there. It's a little sticky. Doing this gives them something to clean up. Yes, I'm coming up. At the top of your package bees, it's always going to have this little square on it. One of the first things to do is, I use my hive tool for everything, is to pop open the top. Squeak. And then one big tuff here, this is going to make them a little upset, all on the bottom. Then I can reach in here and pull out this little can. You kind of have to get your fingers around there. The people that make your package bee set, this is how they feed the bees while you're in transport. And they punch a couple of holes in the bottom. This is how your girls have been eating all this time. We don't need that anymore. Tunk down one more time. Yes, girls. Give them a little more, see if I can get a little more sugar water on them. Before I get going too far further with the bees, safety first. Your face is full of delicate, sensitive tissues. These are the sweetest bees right now. They have nothing to defend. They'll be good girls. But just in case, I'm going to put my veil on to protect my eyes. Come on, girls. All right, enough of that out of the way. We are installing our bees, our package bees, right around the late afternoon hours. During this time, the sun's going down, and this is when the bees are learning to go back to their hive. This is when they naturally want to do this. So by installing the package in the late afternoon, it should lessen the chance that they might take off on me and that they want to come visit. There we go. Now I'm going to tunk this down one more time, a good thud. And I'm going to loosen up my queen cage and pull my queen out. There. In here, I'm going to look. I do have a brand new queen. She's painted this particular one. She's marked. And she has some attendants in there with her. There's three sections to this queen cage. This end piece here is filled with candy. Over the next few days, the, queen, the bees will help open this up for her. But there's a little piece of cork on this candy end. There is cork here too, but leave that there. Here on this candy end. So one of the things I'm going to do with my hive tool is pull the cork out. This is one of the worst steps other than getting your spray bottle to work. There we go. So now the cork is out, the candy is visible, and I've got my empty frame. What I'm going to do is carefully put her in the middle of this frame sideways.
I'm gonna leave her just like this. Over the next few days, all these bees who don't really know her will get used to her pheromones, her smells, as they work on releasing her. So hopefully by the time she comes out, these bees readily accept her as their queen. So just like this, I'm gonna put this in the hive so that these girls get used to it. So now she's in. Now the next part is the easy part. We're just going to try to spray them down one more time if my sprayer works. Gives them something to clean up. They're going to pay attention to that. I'm going to open this up, turn it over, shake them out, put the feeder on, put the cover on. And they're done. They're installed. Come on, girls. All right. Make sure I don't squish anybody that's hanging on the sides. And come on, girls. All right. Then this, I'm going to let them crawl right up in. These girls will gravitate towards here. And then I'm going to fill up the frames the rest of the box with the frames. Okay, pull them back in. Got my beetle trash, my feeder on place, and a cover. I wanna leave these alone for three days. In three days, I'm gonna come back out here just to check on the queen to make sure that she has been released. If not, I'm gonna help them work with the candy by putting a small nail or a small pick in there to help open them up for the young ladies so that she can come out. In the meantime, these girls should be building wax, building up their hive, and getting ready for the upcoming honey flow.